Holy moly, guys. Look how detailed all of this is. Like the buckle, the feather, the tie, the nose, the beard even, the headdress. And then look at this guy, hook nose. Big feather headdress. Look how detailed all of this is. You can see it in this kind of shadowed light. Well, at least I can. I mean... But what I wanted to show... See how this is, like, really thin? And, um... It comes to like these thin edges that are full of these tool marks, right? Watch this, man. Like, I can't. I have this stone at home. I've had it for like a year. And it's full of tool marks. And it has this guy on it with his nose. It has like a person here. This guy with like the pineapple headdress. Like that's clearly been carved. You can't tell. I've had that forever. Oh, and look at this piece. This was a multi tool, too. I I'm thinking like. That could strip, but I don't know. This looks more ceremonial. It's got a lot of people on it and stuff. How weird is it? And I think that these go together because I think they were made by, like, the same person or because they have, like, the similar people. They have, like, similar or maybe everybody had one of these. I don't know. They have similar imagery. And they go to these thin edges. Like this is a tool too. This is really nice quartz or quartzite. It's just full of tool marks. Like... But they're so similar. You might have to really be here in person to see how similar they are. But they have like really similar guys on it too. Yes, and, and then I can't find them all of a sudden. It's like my brain flips off and I just can't see them all of a sudden anymore. But anyway, um, I also wanted to talk about this one really beautiful, eh? 
You can feel it if you hold it that it's been carved. But it just looked neat there and the eye was flashing at me. And this one, I noticed, is a fish right here. Like they leave the ends of the tail off. And then this is like the top of the fish. It goes down, it has an eye even. It's in there. And you would hold it like this. There's a little spot here chipped out to hold it. And underneath is a perfect pecked out spot to hold. And even on it like this, but I just wanted to show like how awesome it is. Because then this way, if you hold it, it's a, it's a whale and the baby. Or something in the baby. It's definitely an ocean scene. I can see octopus even down in here, like, and a guy. All these stones are just coming to life. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. If it, it almost feels like, um, this apartment, I don't know. <laughs> it's like electric or something. But um, I wanted to know, is this jade? It's really translucent. Like, if it were to be um, sliced really thin, it would be trans... Like, because it would... You could slice it really thin and this, I found it's brick. I don't know, it's really weird. This one's like really weird. It keeps flipping up out of my hand. It's got all this paint on it. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, see? I can't seem to hold on to it for the life of me. It seems to be made of brick. That's a really weird one. See, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one. It just had the paint on it and had these grooves. See? And yeah, I, was, I did these a long time ago. June, maybe. One in May, maybe, and one in June, with the same watercolor uh, markers. They're fun to play with. So. Let me know if you like this when uh, I'm not outside if I include some art, but um, look at how beautiful this bird is right here. This stone is my absolute favorite. It feels so amazing. It is made of something that is just magical. It's this beautiful wing, too. It 
goes back into this wing shape, eh? With all the feathers. You can really see it in like the the feather pattern. Um, in this kind of shadow. It's been destroyed a little bit, but it is just made of this gorgeous, like, pink and white and blue. Oh, and it's so smooth. I've never felt anything so smooth. And here is just something so amazing. I just... It feels so amazing. Just... I have no idea what it is, but it smells really good, too. It's got this crazy face. And there's a quartz line in here that goes across his head. I found it by shining a light all across. And I found right here that the light passes through. And I found it goes all the way across. So I looked over and there's like a beautiful quartz line that would have been. And you can see the feather or like the shrine. It looks like a shriner's hat. But look at that. The skull and bones, I swear. Guys, there was these weird skull... Okay, I'm going to walk across my house. I'm trying to be quiet and not make this too loud, but... Oh, where is my skull and bones? Oh, yeah, it's over here. Oh, it might be too dark. I... Oh, I moved him. Shoot. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't can't do it tonight. I'll film it tomorrow. Um, sorry. I think I've already gone too far. Where it's like a curled up dinosaur. You can see it's like claws. It's skin. This is like it's a wing or something. Watch. It like goes. See? And then look, claws. And it looks like someone was pecking this out. It's like they would find a certain fossil. I, I swear it's a dragon. Watch this. It feels biological. Feels like it's biting me right now. <laughs> Watch right here. I swear it's like wrapping something around its face, like its wings. And there's a dragon or something in there.
I can see hands, claws, horns. That's more claws. And it has this like special skin that they wanted. It's like they can like, I don't know, it's, but it's like they wanted it for some reason. Like it feels like it's biting me from down here. Isn't it nutty? It, it feels like a like a freaking animal in my hand. Look at that. I've been trying to find its face. Its butt or something? I don't know. Pretty cool though, eh? I'm trying to be quiet. I'm not though. I'm not being quiet. I, I gotta go. Have a good day. I hope this was interesting. I'm sorry if it wasn't.